So it finally happened. Dame Lillard has been traded. I know you guys saw the news. Um, it was all over Twitter. Obviously, this is big news, biggest news uh, of the offseason. And with this, there's a lot of Spurs fans talking about what the Spurs could do. I've seen quite a few people bring up, hey, we should go after True Holiday. And I definitely have some thoughts about that. And I, I wanted to discuss it with you guys. I want some rest. <laughs> All right, so before we dive into this really quick, if you guys want to support the channel, as always, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description, or become a patron at YouTube member, only $2 per month. Um, and if you don't want to do any of that, just subscribe and like this video, and that will suffice. All right, so guys, Dame Lillard is gone. There's been so many reports uh, saying that, oh, in the next 24 hours, the next 48 hours, he's going to be gone. So we were expecting him to leave. I don't think anyone was expecting him to go to the Bucks. I, I I don't I didn't hear one mock uh, trade that that had him going to the Bucks. None it at all. Um, so it's it's pretty much a shocker. Um, we all well we we wanted him to go to Miami. He wanted to go to Miami, but obviously that was not uh, the case, and that was not in the books. And Miami just didn't have enough to to give up to get him. Um, nor were they willing to to budge on certain things. So it, it is it just didn't fall through. And we maybe we should have expected for a long time that he wasn't going to go to Miami. But with that being said, we're talking about the Spurs right now. Um, so what does this mean for the San Antonio Spurs? So I'm going to talk about True Holiday because that's what most Spurs fans are talking about. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about the potential of Giannis coming to the Spurs at all now. But the one I really want to focus on is the True Holiday. So as you can see here, the shocking move, a Three team deal also sent guard uh, Holiday in 2018, number one pick DeAndre Ayton to the Trailblazers and big man Nurkic uh, to the Suns. Obviously, that's a good deal for the Suns getting Nurkic. I think everyone basically won, especially if DeAndre Ayton can become the potential that they need him to be and him right next to uh, Scoop should be pretty nice. But with that being said, they don't have any intention of keeping true Holiday. So that's something that uh, Spurs fans have noticed, and they're like, hey, it's time for us to get a point guard. I I don't think it's a good idea, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you why. There's a few reasons, okay? But we'll we'll start with the most obvious. This is a lot of money for a true holiday. So he you, you'll, be, you'll be paying out nearly $37 million this year, and then he has a player option the following year, which it would be close to $40 million. Um, I don't think that he'll play up to this contract. It's just, it's just think in mind of, He's on the team, on the court. Does he play to this contract? I don't necessarily think so. So contract-wise, contract, contract -wise, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Also, you're probably going to have to get rid of um, a couple guys. I'm not willing to get rid of Keldon Johnson for Drew Holiday, only because I think Keldon is definitely going to play over this contract at 20 million, 19 million, 17 point. Definitely. Um, if you're going to get rid of Keldon Johnson, do it for something different. But I, I, I think that he's going to outplay this contract. Um, pretty nicely okay and we're gonna really praise his play and based on how much he's making it's gonna be ridiculous so yeah I I, I think that Keldon Johnson I don't want to get rid of him there's no one on this team really right now that I really want to just like move and, and try to make this happen just doesn't make a lot of sense on that on that front number two his play style true holiday he's basically DeJounte right like the the I mean statistic wise I mean they're almost identical at times um, so yeah, he's he's basically DeJounte. So we'll just be getting DeJounte on the court, which not saying that that's a bad thing. Like DeJounte Murray was really, really good. Um, but I, I just don't think that makes sense. So it really comes down to this. And this is the only argument that I've heard for True Holiday. And this is where I'm like, why? What, then what's, what's the point? And that would be, he can be a mentor. Like he can be a mentor for Malachi and he can be a mentor for Blake Wesley. And those guys really need that. And man, and then we'll also have that point guard in that position. And in my opinion, this is the year for the Spurs to experiment. This is not a, a year of us to try to contend. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think that you need to see what you get out of Blake Wesley. Maybe he does make that huge jump and maybe he is the future point guard. We have no idea. And Malachi Branham, just like he did in college, maybe he can run the offense here and there. He can be that secondary point guard. We don't know. But if you put True Holiday on this on this roster and you're paying him quite a bit of money, 
I guarantee you he's going to play. And if that's the case, if you say, no, 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 we still want these guys to play and we just want him to be a mentor, then I really don't think that's worth it. Um, they said, well, it's just a, a mentor rental. You're going to have to get rid of something. You, they're not just going to give us true holiday, right? So I don't think that that's worth giving up anything for a one year rental um, older guy that definitely wants to play in a system that's going to win right now. Like that's what true holiday will want. I just don't think it makes sense. So when it comes to mentorship, I think the Spurs have plenty of mentors, maybe not on the court. Okay. Yeah. You got Zach Collins, uh, Doug McDermott, Osmond, you know, you can, you can call them mentors or whatnot. Um, but we have so many mentors already people being very open and adamant that, yeah, they're going to step up and they're going to be the mentor for this team. Um, we, we got obviously Timmy, we got Tony, we got Manu, we got David Robinson saying that he's going to step up and be a mentor. And we even got LaMarcus Aldridge trying to find a way, or at least he's been open and saying he's willing to come back to San Antonio and get some type of job to be a mentor. So I just don't think that that's going to be a problem. You get, you can get plenty of those. Okay. I, I don't want us to get rid of what we got while this season is an experimental season for true holiday just doesn't make a lot of sense to me i really like true as as a as a person as a player i do like him in those aspects and he is a spur right like his he his um like like how good of a person he is how genuine he is i do think that he fits in with san antonio culture and he would fit in with the system i understand all that but at the end of the day it just seems like you're giving up quite a bit for a, a rental I, I i don't think that that's worth it right now and this season like i said you want to experiment you see where victor when Bayama gets i mean like you got like i said before even campaign i wasn't 100 percent on board with i just sat back and said hey he's like a placeholder for the type of player that we would need there but i'm much happier knowing that he's gone and we can go ahead and allow trey jones and uh blake wesley and malachi to become uh, uh those guys or, or at the very least we, we experiment and see where it goes. So those are my thoughts when it comes to True. I do not want True Holiday. Doesn't make a lot of sense on any front to me. And I feel like you'll be paying a lot of money for someone that's going to be essentially a mentor to the team. Don't think it's worth it. Um, but number two. Now, a lot of people have been talking about, does this ruin our chances to get Giannis? And I have to say, yeah, it does. It, I think it ruins our chances tremendously, actually. Um, so as you can see here, Giannis, this is what I was banking on, okay? Giannis has this year, the year after, and then by the age of 31, he has a player option. And we were just praying that 2026, we would have an unrestricted free agent Giannis. I don't necessarily know if that's still the case and if that's still on the board, because one thing that he said is he needs to be on a team that's willing to win. Well, guys, getting Dame Lillard definitely puts you on a team that's willing to win. Now, with that being said though, um, as we can see here, Dame Lillard, his contract is not super long, actually. Um, he has this year, he has the year after, um, and then they have to try to make something happen. But I just have a hard time believing that the Bucks won't be able to convince Dame to to hang hang around. I I, I mean they they have a they have a pretty winning culture, I would say, and they're going to be successful. Like they're going to be very successful, I think. Uh, so I I don't really see how he can get his get himself out of that one right i mean he's been very open to saying i'm all about loyalty and i want a ring um well he he will really hurt his image if they get close to a ring and he just bounced i don't think that that'd be the case not not saying he's forced to stay there he doesn't have to just stay there if he doesn't want to stay there but i i do believe that this puts things in a different uh light for the bucks and a different light for Giannis. and i don't really see a future with us grabbing Giannis can it still happen maybe possibly um but I I believe that in the next couple years or the next maybe even three years but next couple years Bucks are going to be a much better position than the Spurs are I think at that point I don't know if the Spurs would be ready to win win um you know by the time that he has his player option and all that I I, I don't I have no idea um, but th but those are my thoughts over it so yes i think this ruined our chances to get Giannis. um just in my opinion it is still possibility sure anything's possible but i think that that's that's a wrap on that and when it comes to true holiday eh, it doesn't make a lot of sense i i don't i don't want true holiday um on the I, I love him um if there was no strings attached attached if it was just oh he's a free agent 
and you know you're only paying I don't know, 20 something million or whatever. And you already have a team that's pretty established and you just need a point guard. And we're, we're on the brink of going into the playoffs and winning a championship. Then I'll be for it. But right now doesn't make sense for him. Doesn't make sense for the Spurs. Doesn't make sense in my perspective. So, um, but anyways, those are my thoughts. I'll give it to you guys later until next time. Bye.